Through 1964, the various stages of the multi-slab concrete powerhouse structure were added. By September, the first stage had been completed. To complete the task, thousands of buckets of concrete, manufactured a short distance away, had been poured into the forms. At the end of spring 1964, a concrete aggregate plant, which had done its work at Oxbow, was dismantled and moved to Hell Hole to begin a similar task there. Here, too, the job of cleaning the face of the mountainside, the bedrock of the Sierra, is an important one. For it is here, permanent facilities will be constructed. Facilities which will enable the project to do its work far into the future. During the 1964 season, workmen completed the shell of the powerhouse. All that remains to complete the important task is the installation of the custom made power producing equipment. This material began arriving at the project late in 1964. Water reaching this point in the project will have left Hell Hole, traveled through the Middle Fork Tunnel, then dropped through a nearly 2,000 foot penstock and the Middle Fork Power Plant. From that point, Interbay Dam, the water is pushed through the seven mile Ralston Tunnel, another power plant, Ralston After Bay, and finally a short tunnel to wind up here at Oxbow on the American River. The valuable product of those power plants sold under an already existing contract with Pacific Gas and Electric Company pay for the project.